So that man says he went out to eat and he got a crude awakening. Possible oil in his oysters at a restaurant in Lake Norman. He saved them as evidence. And tonight, our Sarah Batista is live and on your side to explain. So, Sarah, no hard proof what happened is a direct result of the Gulf oil spill, but that has to be what people are thinking. Sharon, this really hit home for this family and caught them by surprise. They saved one of the oysters so that we could show you, and they said just didn't look normal. The tar right there. Matthew Robertson is fascinated at the thought that an oyster from the Gulf made it to his plate soaked in oil. I rubbed it on the napkin and I, and I pointed over to my dad. I said, Dad, look, there's oil on my oysters. He was so surprised at what he found, he kept one to show us. And sure enough, there was a black substance stuck to the inside. That is defi definite tar. Robertson says he noticed the oil when he went to dinner at Vinny's Raw Bar in Lake Norman Saturday evening. The first few oysters he ate were fine, but then he noticed something unusual. After I ate about four of them, I started looking at my hands and it's just and yeah, I was just like, what is this stuff on my hands? Roy Hall, manager of Vinny's, admits the substance was likely oil. The find even surprised him. He says possible food contamination is a concern right now in the seafood industry. Suppliers are scrambling to find fresh oysters, and the cost is rising. Some of our suppliers have been maxed out, not able to, to meet our orders. He says the suppliers do their best to screen the food, so do the restaurants. But this time, the oil got inside the oyster, making harder to detect. It's frustrating for both the customer and the restaurant. That's that's one of our biggest thing on the menus is the raw oysters and, and the people that uh, eat them, they love them. Like Robertson, who no surprise is holding off on eating his favorite meal, at least for now. I'm probably not going to order oysters or shrimp anymore. <laughs> not for a long time. And of course, Benny's did not charge him for the food, but this just goes to show you how this is affecting restaurants as well. The regional manager came out here a little while ago and said he's a little bit skeptical about this being oil, but they are being cautious and they have notified their supplier. We're live from Lake Norman, Sierra Batista,